All right, everyone, welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about realistic Redux interview questions. Now, Redux, despite being just one library, gets into a lot of different concepts. So the questions that I'm gonna discuss today aren't necessarily exhaustive, but I think they are a good representative sampling of what you could reasonably expect in an interview that includes Redux. Now, it's also worth mentioning, as I just said, Redux is just one library, and it's usually used with React. So it's not like you would have a whole interview devoted to just Redux, but I think it is important enough of a library to warrant its own set of questions. So with that in mind, let's get into our first question, which is describe basic data flow in Redux. So this is the most basic question. If someone couldn't describe this, I would be a little bit suspicious as to whether or not they really understood Redux. And this is the thing that most beginners to Redux struggle with, which is like, how does this thing work? How is the data flowing? How do updates get back into my UI? And so I'll go ahead and explain that now. So the documentation has this really good graphic, which basically says you have your view, you have actions, you have the state, and then it's a circle and it just kind of goes in this way. So the view essentially dispatches actions, which are like event handlers. The actions trigger reducers, which update the state, and then the state updates trickle down again into the UI. And so you have this circular pattern that just kind of exists forever. And so that's kind of how the data flows. That's the connection between events in a UI and updates to the UI. And I think that kind of pattern or way of thinking can be a little bit confusing for some people. So if you understand this kind of foundational set of ideas, Ideas, then that'll go a long way for actually learning and using Redux, but it'll also help you in interviews like this. Okay, our next question is, what are some times when you might not need Redux? Or another way of saying this might be, what are some alternatives to Redux? So I haven't actually mentioned this yet, but the whole point of Redux is to give you a global state for your React application typically, but it can be used in other front-end frameworks. And the reason you might need global state in your application is to handle data that you might need access to wherever you are in your app. So let's say you have a user that is logged in and you need access to that user wherever you are in order to control what you're showing and what you're not showing. That is a case for Redux. So sometimes when you might not need Redux would be if you don't have any global state that needs to be shared across your entire application. And that could look like you just have a simple React app and you don't have a whole lot of state to pass around or it's not very complex or there's not very much data. But increasingly I'm getting the sense that people feel like Redux is a bit overblown. There is a lot of boilerplate set up with it and it just tends to feel kind of heavy and like there's just a lot of stuff you have to wade through in order to even use it. And so on the note of alternatives to Redux, React now has Context API, which in theory could replace a lot of the functionality of Redux. There's also Redux Toolkit, which handles a lot of the boilerplate setup for you. And if the whole reason you're using Redux is to pass data around in one isolated part of your application, then you may be able to use other patterns that I've discussed before, like higher order components, for example. So those are some times you might not need Redux and some alternatives to it. Our last question for now is what are thunks? And the short answer is that thunks are the standard approach for writing async logic in a Redux app. What this looks like practically speaking is that a thunk returns a function instead of a plain object. And because thunks return a function, you're able to do things inside of that function like make API calls and then use the result of those calls to update your Redux store. Another way you could sum this up is that thunks are the standard middleware that you use for creating and handling side effects in a Redux app. So those are three solid Redux questions I think that would help you prepare for an interview. Like I said, they're not exhaustive because there's a lot of different angles you could take when discussing Redux and global state management in any front-end application, but I think these will get you started. I hope you found these helpful. Let me know if you're enjoying these videos and what other kinds of questions you'd like to see. If you're still here, you'd probably like the rest of my channel, which focuses on software engineering and career development. So consider subscribing. Regardless, thanks so much for watching to the end. And remember, stay hungry, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.